Hi guys. It's 11.15 on a Thursday morning and I've been awake since 8 o'clock. Only because when I checked my bank account before I went to bed my money hadn't gone in so I wanted to be up early in case I had to get on to ESA via the telephone over there. But it had gone in by the time I'd woken up so all's good. I don't have to get on the phone and give anyone an earache, which is good. Anyway, I've been at the town, and I've been to the Black Record shop, and I've come home with this little JVC. I'll just turn up around. It's a JVC RC-250LB radio cassette recorder. And I've done a quick Google search on this, and I've come up with the manual. I've actually downloaded this, a PDF manual. And there we go, April 1980. I was actually thinking this was um, more towards the 1970s, but... Well, actually, my guess would have been mid to late 1970s, so I wouldn't have been that far off, really. Um, it does work. I have tried the tape deck. have tried the radio. The volume is absolutely... It's probably the worst thing with this unit, to be honest. I mean, I've got that set on uh, halfway, and uh, it's still fairly quiet. Um, this was playing tapes really slow to start with, but I'm not sure if it's the fact that uh, I switched it, switched the monitor. It's got a monitor feature on this. I have no idea what that is for. Um, I switched that off. And I've been flicking the fast forward and rewind buttons back and forth. It could have just been a bit of a sticky mechanism as it's been sitting in the shop for a good couple of months, I think. It's been sitting there. And I've had my eye on it for a while and just kept putting it off. And today I thought, nope, I'm going to buy it. So I paid £19 for this. And I got a game from them as well, a PS2 game. Because I do like the Black Record shop and I do like to support, you know, the local small businesses as best I can. Here it is. <sighs> Take a breath, boy. <laughs> Trying to say everything without taking a breath. Destroy all humans. I could actually go back and get Destroy All Humans too, But I might do that next time I get paid. But... Uh, <laughs> One of the best games for the PS2. It was in there and I just couldn't resist. It was worth the £4 in my opinion. There's my old Matsui cassette player. Radio cassette recorder. Um, I don't know, is that one of them sort of uh, budget branded ones? Probably 80s a game. Later 80s I should think. I don't know, I might Google this one as well in a little while and see if I can dig anything up on it. I only paid like £2 for this at a car boot sale. Because the guy just wanted a shot of it because he just... He wasn't into doing car boots anymore, so he just wanted a shot of everything he had, so... I picked this up for 2 quid. Tape deck isn't working. Radio does. The slide switch has got slider volume. Naturally, because they've got full of dirt over the years, they need a good clean with contact cleaner. The little wheel in here that's you know rotates your um cassette tape spins fine when there's no tape in there but as soon as i put a tape in there it doesn't spin the tape which is indicating a problem with the belt it could be just worn out and stretched and uh you know therefore just slipping when there's a a load on it like the cassette tape so I could have a go at fixing it, you know, finding another belt and putting on it. But one of the reasons I bought this is because I was going to just replace that because of that. But I could actually put batteries in that and use that down in the shed because my one down there is getting a bit dodgy do as well. I've got mains power supply. You can even have a 6 volt DC jack on this as well. Uh, it takes... Or you can run it on batteries, it runs on four D-sized batteries. It's got three radio waves, it's got LW, MW and FM. 
external microphone, necessary, you know, play, record buttons, whatnot, antenna, tone, volume, and it's even got a built in microphone as well. That's probably what monitor is for. I wonder if that's what monitor is for. Because this has got a headphone jack right on the back here where the um, monitor switches. It's got a headphone jack. So I'm actually wondering, you know, if you could like monitor a room or something by switching that on and plugging in the um, thingy. So it's also got a voltage selector. You can't actually see it in there, but you can just about read the voltage selector writing on there. And yes, it is set on 240 volts. <laughs> I did. I checked that in the shop. But uh, considering, apart from the weak sounding volume, it might be because I've got the tone set too low as well. Um, this is actually a nice little unit. I'm well pleased with that. That was well worth the £19 I spent. I don't know why he priced it like that. I'd have priced it at 20 I like round numbers. I don't like odd numbers like that. Right. Um... Should have mum up town about 1.30 because she's got an appointment with her hairdresser. <clears throat> oh dear, right. And I've also got a package. But I'm not opening that, not on video anyway. Because it is a My Little Pony plushie. Um... And I've got two more to come in the post, which I hope will be here Saturday, if the seller posts them today. So I bought them this morning. Um, I might go buy a third one, actually. <laughs> uh, so there could be two, maybe three to come. Um, so I'm just going to save that for one video so I haven't got to keep you know doing multiple videos of the same thing basically so I'm not even gonna tell you who it is <laughs> you will find out hopefully Saturday so um I am gonna disappear for a little while and I will tune back in later. I've got some bikes to take apart so I might go and do that. I think I've managed to find someone who will actually take the scrap away. Next week. So my trailer should be emptied. So all's good, I hope. Anyway, talk to you in a little while. Nemo is sleeping in the box that I need. <laughs> you just about make him out right there. It's a bit dark. I don't know where my torch is. I've got so many torches and I can never find one when I want one. Oh, there's a headlamp. I could have used that. I've got two of them LED headlamps now and I can only find that one. I don't know where the other one's gone. Oh, I've got loads of little LED torches and whatnot dotted everywhere. And it's the same with pens. I can never find a pen when I want one or a pair of scissors. I've got several pairs of scissors. can never find a pair when I want one. <sighs> anyway, this afternoon I went downstairs and I started taking bits off frames that I've got on the trailer out front there the bits that I wanted and uh, stripped down two bikes the two kids bikes then I've been broken for parts gone on the trailer for scrap because hopefully during the week next week someone's gonna come and collect it for me that'll save me and mum dragging it down the dump uh, so I got that done then mum turned up and I met her in town after her hair appointment. And uh, you know, wander around town, wander around a few of the charity shops. Uh, then went to Lidl's and then went to Sainsbury's and that was it. And that took us a good couple of hours actually. Um, so yeah, busy afternoon. In one of the charity shops though, I found a tripod. And this one is actually quite a tall one. Don't look at it, but... I actually have to say, I'll put this camera on here, it does fit, but uh, <laughs> it's, 
It looks rather small on the top there because it is meant for a broader camera than this little old thing. But you've got this down here, all you do is flick these up, stretch your legs out like that, you know, and then just lock that down like that. Simple. Same with that one, so you can extend it twice. And you can actually put these in any position you want, so I can fully adjust the legs here if I do that, do that, it's locked. So uh, I paid five pounds for this out of the Salvation Army shop, and uh, I think that's well worth it. It did come, it's a Vanguard brand, I have no idea if that's a good brand or not. Uh, but it did come with a box, and this was in its um, cellophane as well. I don't even think it had been used. Oh, actually it had, because the cellophane had been opened. But, uh, yeah. I've put the box in the bedroom with all the other boxes that I've got. So in a little while, I've got to wrap that up and box it up. And hopefully, actually I think, if I wrap it up, and slot it this in, you know, that way into the box, and then pad it all out. By the time I fold these up, all I'd have to do is get some cardboard. Might have to trim these flaps down, but get some cardboard and just cardboard over the end, and that's the box done. Although I might, because it is a bit wide, and I would have to pack it out quite a lot. But I need to get that wrapped first. So that, that is this evening's job. And I've got to boot this up as well because I need to use the printer to print the label off. <sighs> got a dumbass here who hasn't done it yet. Should be going to mum's tomorrow. Stepdad wants to hoik some more um, stuff over from the workshop and whatnot. And I do hope he will listen and use a fucking trailer. Oh. We would have had most of it, if not all of it, cleared by now if you would just use the trailer. In fact, we could have done the whole lot in two trips. But, uh... Well, actually, that would have been pointless like last week because the workshop wasn't even finished. And the, shed, the garden shed wasn't even empty. That's why we haven't got the gardening tools and whatnot over there yet, like the lawnmower, because uh, I had nowhere to put it, <laughs> apart from in the garden. And then Mum will win. He looks like a council garden out here. <laughs> well, you are in a bloody council house. <laughs> anyway, oh. I bought those as well. That big one's going to go on the shed door, same as the other one. So that's another two keys for me to get muddled up. <laughs> Five keys with each of those padlocks. And there's a fair bit of weight in these. That's why I like them. I don't like padlocks that feel light, because it usually means they're made out of a cheap shit metal. <laughs> Got a Lego set as well. I decided on a Lego City set this time, not track. I could probably sell some crap on eBay or something and uh, whatnot to get some track with. I think I've got enough pony plushies to last me a while now. I've got another three arriving on, hopefully on Saturday. I hope. <clears throat> right. I nearly did crash into a cyclist earlier. I'd just gone down to the USA fried chicken in town for some dinner because that's what I fancied. And um, as I was coming out, I'd look because the shop was on a one way street. I'd look to my right and there was a cyclist on the wrong side of the road going down a one-way street the wrong way. No lights, dark clothing and whatnot. The only reason I saw him was because he'd just come into the street light. And he went just round up on the footpath and was going round by, well, what was a bank, which has got railings in front of it. So I went round on the road... And just as we got to the end of the railings, he decides to jump off the footpath onto, and cross the road right in front of me without looking. And yes, he did get called a twat. But what annoys me is, it's twats like him that, you know, make all us cyclists look bad. 
and uh, yeah, that does annoy me, because I've seen plenty of cyclists, you know, that ride around, they wear the visible clothing, and the, they have at least one front and rear light so you can see them, which in a street lit area is really all you need, you don't really need anything spectacular. Um, although having said that, I've seen a lot of cyclists lately using lights during the daytime. Um, it seems like you can actually get some really, really bright lights, which I'm guessing have been designed for daytime use, to make you a bit more visible, which I think is a bloody good idea, actually. Just like a motorcycle is, or a motorcyclist, I should say, is meant to use lights all the time. So dickheads see them, because a lot of dickheads in cars don't look properly. They... I swear it's because they only look for, you know, cars, you know, something at least their own size or bigger. Anything smaller, they just don't seem, you know, to look for. But again, that got me thinking, you know, we only ever think about and react to the negatives of any group of people, be them drivers, cyclists, motorcyclists, <coughs> pardon me, or even fandoms, you know, like bronies, Pegasisters, the pony fandom, I suppose you could call it, the furry fandom, the otakus, you know, those that are into anime and whatnot, uh, Trekkies is another one I can think of. You know, if any minority of folks in there did anything remotely, you know, wrong, or whatever, and that's all that get got shown, you know, like in the media stories or whatever, I think it's because of that concentration on the negativity, which causes people to, like, um paint everyone in a certain group with the same brush, so to speak. Um, and I do I do sometimes um, say things that uh, <laughs> probably sounds like I'm having a dig at all drivers, you know. But I don't mean to. Usually it's just out of frustration, you know, at the heat of the moment. Because I really don't like it when cars almost hit me, so... <laughs> But, you know, we do. We just see all the negatives reported on, or we experience the bad side of a certain group of people ourselves a couple of times, and we start sort of seeing that group as really bad, you know. I start saying, oh, they're... They're all bloody weird, they all do this, they all do that, I don't want nothing to do with them. They should be banned, blah, 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 you know, all that crap. But, uh, but, uh, anyway, going back to this cyclist with no lights. I have posted about it before on my Facebook, you know, having a little rant about cyclists with no lights. And someone actually said, you know, maybe they can't afford the lights, but... There's two things I'd like to point out. One, cycle lights really aren't that expensive nowadays. You know, you can get them little silicon, rubbery feeling ones that just sort of clip around your handlebar and your... your seat post. One ninety nine each, or no, actually, yeah, they're about one ninety nine each, or about two ninety nine for a pair. You know, and they will do. You could pick up a whole pack of batteries for them for ninety nine p in the pound shop. Even in my, my local QDs, do them for ninety nine p. Those packs of batteries for those CR twenty thirty twos. If anyone is wondering. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not much of a geek with cycle lights. I actually know the batteries they take off the top of my head. But, uh, 
I actually got a half decent set of LED lights with built in reflectors, you know, they're all built into one unit. For my um, Peugeot bike, I built $5.99 each. Sounds expensive, you know, what's that? About £12 for the pair. But when you're thinking of your own safety, is it really expensive? 12 quid? You could go on eBay, you can find lights that going up to, you know, 50 odd quid. But then you really are getting high tech <laughs> and expensive. You know, like seriously bright LED lights designed so you can see where you're going and not just to be seen by. But uh, yeah, 12 quid, you can get sets cheaper than that nowadays. Actually, you could probably find a set about half what I paid for a pair. I only paid that much because I was selling them separately. But if they, I can guarantee if they sold them as a pair, they would have probably charged somewhere in the region of about nine ninety nine for the pair. Because I've seen them do that. You can get those little clip-on LEDs. Uh, what are they? I think they're about four ninety nine each. But the same price for a pair, or a little bit extra for a pair. It's weird. Weird how they price things. How a, you know a pair of lights would actually work cheaper than buying them separately. But still, but some it was also said some people may not be able to afford them. But uh, this guy probably could. He was actually on a fairly nice bike. Didn't look that old, it looked pretty damn clean and tidy, you know. And it wasn't making any weird noises, so it seemed well looked after. And it had mud guards. The fucking mud guards would cost more than the lights. But he's put mud guards on his bike. I didn't see if there was any other accessories, I just saw the mud guards. Because they stand out a bit more. But seriously. Well. A set of mudguards would at the very least cost you the equivalent price to a half decent set of lights. So if you paid $9.99 for a set of lights, that's what you'd pay for um, the sort of mudguards he had on his bike anyway. You'd pay about the same price. <clears throat> so to me, if you can afford such accessories, you can afford a pair of lights. I mean, do people really not care about their own safety that much? I mean, people say they're not suicidal, but to me, that's suicidal. That's playing Russian roulette. You'll only get away with it for so long before the inevitable will happen. Trust me, I've been there and done that before. <sighs> More than once, unfortunately. <laughs> <clears throat> Oh, I've got some left. It's not my favourite, but I do prefer the taste of Diet Coke out of a can more than a plastic bottle. This is something, I don't know what it is, but the taste is definitely different in a plastic bowl. I think the Plastic, even though it may not harm us, it definitely does something to the taste. <sighs> All right. Did I say I got three more pony plushies coming Saturday? I believe I did. Saw this today. Got Lyra heartstrings. Five pound fifty for that. Five pound fifty. This seems expensive to me. I didn't have many in this range there, but Sainsbury's is uh, in the process of uh, restocking their toys after you know the Christmas period. They always take about a month for some reason. Roy's did it ages ago. They did it sort of Boxing Day. They had the new Lego sets out and whatnot. But Sainsbury's has only just caught up. That's where I've got that Lego set from. Which I've got to do a review on. Which I'm going to do straight after this video. And then I might actually clear the Lego table. And uh, do a very quick update as well. On my turn. 
Excuse me. Coca-Cola was the worst one for doing that to me. Anyway. Thanks a lot for watching. If you like the video, hit the like button. I don't know why I pause every time I do this bit. <laughs> anyway, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you didn't, hit the dislike button. Feel free to leave a comment and subscribe if you want to. And I will talk to you again soon. Adios.